of special Lubrak is from 12th century. This a very uh, lama who achieved the rainbow body in Lubrak here in this place, especially where I am now. Hi, Lama called Yangdun Tashi Jalsen. In this place, he achieved a rainbow body from the, in Dzogchen, we have uh, three uh, different lineages. Out of them, Xiangshung Yingyu lineage. We have uh, southern and the northern lineage. So southern lineage is start from here. And that's why this is the place where our Dzogchen master who achieved the rainbow body, not only one, you know, since uh, many uh, thousands years back that people are practicing here and in Dharma book it says if you practice a year in other places and if you practice a month here is equal you know or other places you practice month here a day a week like that is much uh, equal you know here is some kind of energy and power of the our previous lineage master's blessing, it impacts on our practice. Actually, when we talk in general, Mustang was the very uh, main place for Bompo from the Xiangshung, is a part of Xiangshung country. And then, since then, many Bonpo yogis, like uh, Lachen Temba Namga, Tsawang Rinzin, those are also came here. Since then, we don't have a very document that uh, to prove since then what we are practicing here. But from the 12th century, we have very uh, clear document still available that uh, Lama's been practicing here like that. So, um, actually, the old Mustang was born once. So then slowly, slowly it declined. And then now only one village left, you know, still uh, that tradition, old, old tradition from Xiangshung, it still keep going. So that's why um, Lubrak is a very special uh, for the born lineage, all historically lineage and for the practice, everything. And it's so important. That's why our uh, Western, and Dharma friend, our all over the world Dharma friend, if you come in this place, it's the right place for a pilgrimage. It's a very authentic, you know, like it has not big impact of uh, modernization, not like that. So still very, uh, our traditional way still alive. So this is the what is special in our Mustang. Shula Rinpoche is a very high lama. He is a reincarnation lama. He is a first Geshe from many monastery, And also he is lineage master, like a father family lineage master, which is a, in Bonn we have a five main uh, uh, Shenzang, Tuzang. He is from Shu family, family lineage. He is a reincarnation lama from the Jomsom, our Bon monastery. They hear uh, Shula Rinpoche always stay in Gompuk monastery temple here. And we have a very holy place to get the teaching. You know, Shula Rinpoche always stay in Lubrak and always doing practice here. Keep alive, keep going this practice. And also down there in village, we have a Lama Tsuldim and Lama Kanzo, a Lama Tsewang. They are also keep going, practicing like that. So all these yogis and Rinpoche together. So still in Lubra, keep going the, our born Tantra lineage, Dzogchen lineage, are still keep going because of, this is the one of Shula Rinpoche's, his main uh, project or himself always staying here as a retreat in very remote in this high mountain. So this is very special here. This was the Gompu. Um, Gompu means cave where the Lama meditate and achieve the rainbow body. Since then, this 
And first we have only cave. Then uh, it was very holy or sacred uh, cave. So they put the cave inside. From outside they built a temple. So that's why name is Gompu Temple. Shula Rinpoche always practicing here. And then many lineage masters from all over the places that Bombo linear house pilgrimage people come here and take blessings from here. So this is the Gompu down there. We in a village. We have a monastery also there. All the yogis always there are yearly lots of many rituals and uh, ceremonies and, and those are keep going still going on there. So uh, Lubrakpa's yogis are still we have and till now it's keep going. If you are a born practitioner, then there are caves of Tembanamka Cave, Sewangrinjin Cave. You can visit that also, it's a quite difficult part. But then there is a Nyamlin Pu, a cave has a, in the winter very good sun, many, many Lama been doing retreat and like that. So if you are interested on those things, you know, so you have a place to stay and do retreat or meditation like that. Um, also, one is Mustang Bone Foundation, which I run. And then if you are really interested on bone culture or Shangshun culture, then uh, Lubra village, uh, there are many still tradition are keep going on. So you can learn uh, lots of old tradition, uh, like village, how they do is also possible like that here. Suppose like where I am now, and then other, other side, those two are the place where Togal practice Lama been sit here and practicing the toggle practice and sky gazing, line gazing, toggle practice, or dream yoga and sleep yoga and dark retreat are another cave they they practice this here. So that's why this is why so important and so connecting to the lineage master, connecting with their energy is so important here. Usually in Mustang, especially Lower Mustang, is visiting best time for the, our visitor or foreigner or for the tourist is the March, April, May. Those three are in summertime very good. And late as before winter is the September, uh, October, November. Those months are very good for visit this, this place and because that time not extreme cold like a real winter and also uh, in summer also not so hot in a very pleasant time so usually tourist time is those time in uh, Lubrak we have a uh, homestay look like a, we call some people say hotel but it's more like a homestay there's like a, you can stay there you can have a local food and place for uh, sleep and like that so if you really want good hotel or like that in Jomsom, Kagbini, there are very good hotels too. Tadimazo, <laughs> Lolo Tinggi 
Dodam